Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series on using the desktop. In this video, we'll learn how to dock views called managers. Let's come up to the top of the program and pull down the Manage menu. And we can see that here are seven different managers available in Traverse BC that expose different parts of the survey, different data in the survey. These are the managers that can be docked to any part of the desktop that we want. Um, if we take a look at the left-hand side of the desktop, I have four of them docked on the left-hand side, and they're auto-hidden. Let's take the uh, traverses, put the cursor over it, and we're going to pin this to the desktop. Okay? This is now pinned and docked on the left-hand side of the desktop. Watch what happens when I put the cursor over the what we call the caption bar at the top where it says traverses, and I hold down the left mouse button and drag and drop that manager onto the desktop. It's its own window now, but this isn't where I want to leave it. I want to move this down to the bottom of the desktop. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag and drop until I see these little arrows here. Okay, And this particular one says I want to take up the bottom of the screen here. Okay. And watch what happens when I unpin it. Now it's docked to the bottom of the desktop. And if I put the cursor over it, it expands it from the bottom of the desktop up. Okay. Let's grab that Traverse Manager again. I'm going to pin it. Once it's pinned, now I can grab that caption bar. I'm going to move it over to the right-hand side instead. Again, I can unpin it. And now it's auto-hidden on the right-hand side. Let's do the same thing with the Drawings Manager and bring it over here to the right-hand side so you can see how that works again. Let's come over to the left. We'll expand the Drawings Manager just by clicking on it or putting the cursor over it. I'm now going to pin it to the desktop, drag and drop it over to the right-hand side. Once I'm over the little icon that indicates the right-hand side of the desktop, I release the mouse button and unpin it. And I now have um, auto hidden both the Traverses Manager and the Drawings Manager on the right hand side. This is particularly helpful for those of you that work with more than one monitor. So I might want to use a monitor over here to the right to display just the drawing view and do all my drawing there. Well, it would make sense for me to have the Drawings Manager docked over on the right hand side so it's handy right next to the drawing view. I also might want to dock the uh, Surfaces Manager over there, or the Drawing Data Manager over there, where they're handy. Let's bring the Traverse Manager back. Again, we're going to pin it, drag it back, and put it over here on the left-hand side. And I want to introduce you to something called Tabbed Views, or, or Docking with Tabs. And I use this quite a bit, um, the way I have Traverse PC set up. So I'm going to open up the Points Manager, and I'm going to pin it, so Traverse BC has now pinned the Points Manager next to the Traverse Manager, both of them on the left-hand side of the desktop. But watch what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put the cursor over the caption bar for the Points Manager, left-click, and drag and drop it over the top of the Traverse Manager. And I can see that right in the middle is a little tab icon. So I'm going to release it there, and I now am sharing the same space for both the Traverses Manager and the Points Manager. Whichever one I click on becomes the active one. And this is kind of neat. Watch what happens now when I unpin or auto-hide one of them. They both get auto-hidden. I can still bring them up individually. Traverses can come up by themselves. Points can come up by themselves. But if I pin either one of them, they both are available now as tabs. Let's do the same thing with the Task Manager. We're going to pin it, and we're going to drag and drop it onto this group of tabbed managers. And we might want to do the same thing with the Drawing Manager. We put over here on the right-hand side. Let's bring it over, tab it. Let's make one change to this, because we want to be doing quite a bit with the points at this particular point of the survey. So I want to see the points all the time. I'm going to pick up this Points tab by putting the cursor over it and left-clicking the left mouse button. I'm going to drag and drop that 
See how I lifted out just the one manager, the points? And this time, instead of putting it over the tab icon in the middle, I'm going to put it over the down arrow at the bottom of that icon. And I can see that I've now created a second tab group down at the bottom. In fact, maybe I want to put drawings and points in that same group down here. Now, I can have traverses showing up above. I can have drawings and points showing down below. And I can grab the splitter between them and change how much room I give each one. Okay. Now, I can auto-hide one of those tab groups, in this case, traverses and tasks. And that space is filled up by the other tab group. If I auto-hide it, then I'm back to auto-hide managers like, like we had earlier. If I bring up one of these points or drawings and pin it, they both get pinned to that same space. If I then bring up another tab group and pin it, it resumes the space that they had when I started. Now, we know that um, you're going to use Traverse PC a lot of different ways. Um, but you're going to find that re rearranging or arranging these uh, managers uh, in, in the orders that you want them and placing them or docking them to the desktop where you want them is going to give you the maximum use of whatever size screen or whatever multiple monitors or a notebook or a desktop you might be using. Uh, it actually makes Traverse PC kind of fun to use also.